good morning students in the previous session of the motion we all have understood that what is motion how motion is related to each other with respect to object types of motion with example and uniform and non uniform motion now we will see let us see the average speed of an object in motion but before going on to this we will first see that what is the speed the speed of an object moving along some path is defined as the distance travel upon the time taken suppose the distance travel by an object is 20 km and time it take is 4 hour so what will be the speed of the car the speed of the car will be 20 upon 4 and your answer will be 5 km per hour now look at the speed of the car which is 5 km per hour does that not mean that the car is travel 5 km in every hour or in other word the value of speed say that the object travel in constant speed but we all know that the car cannot start directly from 5 km per hour so suppose this is the starting point of an object or we can say the car but in the journey first it started slowly and in the next half of the journey the car sped up its speed so the given data cannot tell us that the car is traveling 5 km in every hour so if this is not a constant speed then what the speed is yes the speed is called the average speed of a car the average speed of a car is defined as the total distance traveled upon the total time taken so now this is the total distance and the time it take is the total time so the average speed will be 5 km per hour so now let us look on to the unit of speed the unit of speed can be written into as kilometer per hour or it can be also written as kmph now moving ahead we are going to see what is mass and weight and whether they are equal or not to understand this concept let us look at the example which will simply helps you to understand what is the difference between the mass and the weight so suppose a person is weighing 75 kg so he will say that i weigh 75 kg and that is my weight now notice the language here weigh which simply tell us that we are talking about the weight but in your physics classes you must have heard that the unit of mass is kilogram and that of weight is newton let us understand what mass really is now mass is the amount of matter or the quantity of matter in an object and the mass does not change with the change of a surface now let's see what is the weight the weight on the other hand is the force or it can be defined as a force exerted on masses due to gravity let us suppose that if we are standing on earth our masses due to gravity give us the weight now the mass of an object cannot be changed but the weight of an object change depending on gravity field for example things weighing less on the moon that on the earth because the moon has smaller gravity than that of the earth if a person standing and on earth and is weighing 75 kg so on the moon its weight will be 12.45 kg on the moon if i weigh less on the moon that does not mean that i become smaller on the moon here the mass remains same but due to gravity there is a variation in weight suppose a fat person goes on moon it weighs changes but its mass remains constant 
okay so now a force that is done on a mass like gravity does not change how much the mass is so with this a topic of motion is completed thank you